Hello everyone, this is James and welcome to Lectures. Hello, so this is a different kind of lecture. I have five questions and five corny questions and I will answer the questions with corny answers. So this whole episode is a joke. Uh, question number one. A 50-year-old female patient came to the emergency room with a left facial droop. What is the possible cause of the facial droop? If you answer uh, TIA, transient ischemic attack, that is wrong. If you answer stroke, that is wrong. If you answer um, Bell's palsy, that is also wrong. The correct answer is denture. Um, the patient forgot to wear her dentures. This is actually a true story. I was working in Texas and I admitted that patient. And the patient came in for abdominal pain and diarrhea times three days. And she told me that when she was in the emergency room, everybody freaked out because of the left facial droop. And they wanted to do a CT scan. And she said, no, I came in for diarrhea. Why do, I have, why do you have to do a CT scan? Well, it's because of your facial droop. I said, no, I forgot to wear my dentures. Facial nerve is screen under number seven. And that is the motor function is for facial expression and facial movement, lacrimation and um, salivation. And then the sensory function of your cranial nerve number seven is um, the, the taste of the anterior two thirds of the tongue. Uh, cranial nerve number seven originates from the pons. Okay? When you do your NIHS and you ask the patient to smile, you're actually assessing the cranial nerve number seven. Now let's proceed with question number two. An examination proctor suspects that the test takers are suffering from a cardiac disease. What is the cardiac disease? This is a hard question, but the answer is murmur. This is also a true story. I was taking the final exam for pathophysiology. Um, and when suddenly the proctor said, I think some of you have cardiac issues because I hear murmur. What is your answer? So a murmur is a, a swishing or whooshing sound. Um, it's either benign or innocent or, it's a, or it is a pathological murmur. So normal uh, heart sound is lab dub. That is your S1, lab dub. And then your S2 is from dub to the next lab. And the murmur is like lab sh dub or lab dub sh dub. Um, benign or um, innocent murmurs are caused by exercise or 90% of pregnant women develop uh, innocent murmurs because of the, um, uh, the uh, blood volume. Okay, there's uh, more blood volume during pregnancy. Innocent murmurs are always systolic. The pathological murmurs, there are some defects or some problems with the valves. Um, we know that the sound, the heart sound, is the closure, the S1 is the closure of your atrioventricular valves, your mitral and your tricuspid. Your um, S2 is the closure of aortic and the pulmonic valves. So there is a trick, there is a mnemonic for the murmurs. It's either systolic or diastolic. Uh, pathological murmurs, if it's a diastolic murmur, it is always pathological. Um, the trick, the mnemonic is Mr. S. Mr. S for systolic, that is mitral regurgitation, aortic stenosis, systolic. And then for the diastolic, that is Ms. Ard, mitral stenosis, aortic regurgitation, systolic, uh, diastolic. And then question number three, why do surgeons and OR nurses always wear gloves during surgery? If you answer uh, to prevent surgical site infection that is wrong the correct answer is fingerprints so something's wrong happened during surgery there will be no traces of fingerprints corny so what are the common post of complications we have post of fever atelectasis pneumonia wound infection dvt or uh, embolism so postal fevers is either due to inflammatory response or atelectasis. If your patient has fever first off and you look at the WBC and the WBC is normal, so that is atelectasis, let that patient use the incentive spirometer because the atelectasis will progress into pneumonia. And why do patients also uh, have DBT after surgery? 
is because of the pooling of blood, like sitting of blood for longer hours. And then question number four, a ventilator is an inspiration of what song? This is also a hard question, but the song is the soundtrack of the movie Face Off, a blockbuster hit in 1997 starring uh, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. The song, the movie version was sung by Trisha Yearwood and the commercial release was sung by uh, Leanne Rhymes. Leon Rhymes. So, the chorus of the song is How do I live without you? How do I breathe without you? How do I ever, ever survive? See, it talks about the ventilator. So what is the difference? What is the difference between ventilation and oxygenation? Ventilation is the movement of gas in and out of the lungs. And oxygenation is the delivery of oxygen to the blood and to the tissues. So in what instance where there is ventilation but there is no oxygenation? That is during cardiac arrest. When the heart stops beating, you are blowing air into the lungs and that is your rescue breaths, which is 10 to 12 breaths per minute or one breath every 5 to 6 seconds. There is an exchange but there is no circulation, delivery of oxygen because the heart is not pumping. And what instance where there is oxygenation but there is no ventilation and that is during surgery if you during a heart or lung transplants or during a cab, a coronary artery bypass graft or your cabbage um, there is oxygenation because there is delivery of oxygen to the rest of the body tissues but there is no ventilation because you are using the machine you are not using your lungs you're using the machine Number five, a man complains that his face is numb when he is with his girlfriend. What is the possible cause of the numbness? This is also a hard question. If you answer cranial nerve 5 palsy, that is wrong. If you answered Lincoln Park's numbed, that is partly correct because of the word numbed. Yes. I become so numbed, I can feel you there. But there is no face in the lyrics, so that is partly correct. And that is not a, really the correct answer. The correct answer is the, 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 the guy is singing, I can feel my face. So, I can feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry no more. Corneal nerve number five, that's the trigeminal nerve, uh, originates from the pons and it has a sensory and motor functions. The sensory function is the facial sensation and you have three branches of the trigeminal nerve. You have the ophthalmic, then you have the uh, maxillary and the mandib mandibular. And the uh, motor function of your cranial nerve number five is uh, the muscle of chewing or mastication or chewing. Cranial nerve number five is facial sensation. Cranial nerve number seven is facial expression. That is all and I hope you laugh. <laughs>